Hello, my name is Coleman Haley, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this work entitled Language Agnostic Measures Discriminate Inflection and Derivation. I'm going to start with a question. What is the difference between constructed and constructor? We have this idea that they're both related to the verb to construct, but that the nature of this relationship might be different. Constructed is a form of this verb, whereas constructor is a new word that's been created from this verb, perhaps. We call such processes that create forms of words inflection, and those which create new words derivation. There is apparent cross-linguistic agreement about what forms are inflectional and which are derivational. One way we can see this is through the creation of data sets such as Unimorph, which uses a universal set of features to describe inflections across over 180 languages and derivations in 30 languages. This shows a high degree of consistency of which features are involved in inflectional constructions. Here we see constructions in Spanish and constructions in Russian being labeled using the same set of features. However, linguists have argued extensively about what properties might underlie this distinction, citing many different properties which provide contradictory evidence for individual constructions. This has led some to question whether such properties can describe the distinct distinction across a wide range of languages at all. So in this work, our goal is to shed light on this by finding corpus-based measures that can discriminate inflection and derivation in Unimorph. By using corpus-based measures, we hope that we can consider a larger range of languages and constructions than previous work in theoretical linguistics and provide a different perspective on the debate. To get such corpus-based measures, we focus on the intuition that derivational constructions produce larger and more variable changes to words. In terms of form, where we measure distance by edit distance between the written form of the words, and in terms of distribution, where we measure the distance and distribution with the Euclidean distance between fast text embeddings of the words. So this produces four measures, measures of the magnitude of change in form and distribution and the variability of that change itself. So we're able to look at constructions across 26 languages, a total of about 2,700 constructions, where each construction is a list of pairs of words that are related by a single morphological process. Here, for example, you see the construction Ian, the nominalization morpheme in English. We find that Unimorph actually assigns inflection and derivation highly consistently in terms of these features. The way we find this is that we train a classifier with these four features as input and predict on held out constructions based on whether they're listed as being inflection or derivation in Unimorph. So majority class baseline here gets 57% accuracy by predicting inflection all the time. But using just our four features, we're able to get 86% accuracy using all features in a linear classifier and 90% accuracy using an MLP to account for nonlinear interactions between features. It's worth pointing out this, this model has no language specific features. It uses the magnitude of for change in form and distribution and their variability in a completely language agnostic way with no language norming or anything like that. And we seem to generalize to our small sample of non-Indo-European languages in this data set. We were able to look at about five such languages and we still get over 80% accuracy using these four features. However, while we find a high degree of consistency in terms of how the terms inflection and derivation are used with respect to these measures, we do not find that in terms of these measures, we find natural classes. So here we see our two most predictive features. Using these alone, we'd be able to get 84% accuracy on Unimorph in terms of classifying whether a construction is derivation or inflection. However, we see that there aren't really natural clusters to this data. If you took away the labels, it would look roughly continuous. So the application of these terms is, in terms of these measures, consistent but gradient. To summarize, the inflection derivation distinction can be recovered from corpora with accuracy as high as 90%, but the distinction appears gradient. And if you want to learn more, you can reach me at these places and look forward to a um, longer version coming hopefully soon. Thank you.